Hi guys, welcome back. And finally it's time to add some assertions to our test. And since we are using Chai, we will be using expect. So step number one is to basically pull out the expect from the Chai library. So const expect is equal to require. And you want to require it from Chai dot expect because we just want expect not the whole library and now we can actually delete the console log and as you can see we have four values one for title one for url one for text one for count so i think it's a good idea that we write assertion for all these four values so let's do it if you actually want to write some assertion using chai, especially with chai expect, you start with the keyword expect and now you actually specify the actual value. So in our case, let's start with the title. So we want to expect the value of this title. Now let's say we need to compare it to some string value. So we need to use to be a now we need to specify the type in our case it's string and the value example domain like this so this way we will actually use puppeteer to get the title value and store it to variable title and then we call expect function where we expect the value of the title which is being pulled out by puppeteer to be a string of value example domain so in the similar way, let's do the rest for URL, text and count. So expect URL dot two. And in this case, let's use include. And we just want to check that the URL contains or includes the part example.com this is very important for example when you are trying to assert some endpoints on your application and for that reason you are not using to be an exact value but we are only using include and for that you can just use to include and you can specify the value so now we have a text so expect text and we need to specify the value from that h1 element so again this should be a string so to be a string and the string is same as the title so it's example domain and last thing we want to verify is the count and in this case we'll be working with integers or numbers to be precise and not the text so let's expect count and in this case we want to use equal and the value is two because we already know that there should be two p tags on the page and that's it we have added four assertion one for title one for url one for text one for count and all these values are being extracted by the puppeteer so let's now run the test to make sure that everything is working. And as you can see, the test has passed. So let me clear it. And let's also change the test to run in the headless mode. So I'm going to change it to true. And I'm going to run the test again. And as you can see, the tests are still passing and even much faster than in running in headless mode. Oh, sorry, headful mode. So let's do it one more time. And everything is correct. So that's it. This is a great example of how you can use assertion and how you can extract data using Puppeteer. So I recommend you to do some more. You can basically grab some of your website and try to do the same. Try to collect some data such as title URL, maybe let's count some element 
and let's work with some assertions to make sure that you understand and learn it correctly. And I think that's it and let's move to the next topic.